Good morning. In this talk we are going to present Groot. A GDPR-based combinatorial testing approach. The talk is composed of three main parts. We firstly give the scope and the purpose of our work. Then, we present Groot and its application through a realistic use case scenario, by considering access control as technical measure to protect personal data. Finally, we conclude the talk by presenting also our future work. Nowadays, quality of ICT systems and modern applications is strictly tied with the security and privacy. However, most of the times, due to the peculiarity of the GDPR, effective and efficient validation methods have to be applied for avoiding possible violations. In this talk, we present Groot, a combinatorial testing methodology, specifically conceived for assessing the GDPR compliance of ICT systems in processing personal data. We specifically contextualize Groot into the access control domains. Access control systems aim to ensure that only the intended subjects, for instance controller and processor, can access the protected data, such as personal data and get the permission levels required to accomplish their tasks and no much more. Due to their role, the testing of access control systems represents a key activity to guarantee the trustworthiness of data and protect information technology systems against inappropriate or undesired user access. However, testing is still a time-consuming, error-prone activity and a critical step of the development process. Bad choices in each stage of the testing phase may compromise the entire process, with the risk of releasing inadequate security and privacy solutions that allow unauthorized access or even unlawful processing. Therefore, our work aims at advancing the state of the art by providing for the first time, the Groot strategy, which is a general combinatorial strategy for testing systems managing GDPR's concepts. Groot strategy is composed of three main steps. GDPR-based model derivation, test cases generation, and test cases translation. As shown in the figure, Groot takes as an input a GDPR-based implementation that is a representation of the GDPR in terms of a specification language. The GDPR-based implementation is parsed in order to identify the set of parameters and associate values. In particular, we rely on the definition presented in this slide for the specification of the GDPR-based SUT model. As in the definition, a set of parameters par and the associated set of sets V are considered. The parameter can be data subject, controller, processor, personal data, consent, purpose, processing activity, or third party. Therefore, for each parameter I, the subset VI, containing the values used in the GDPR-based implementation, is derived. In the second step, the combinatorial testing is performed. Based on the derived parameters value sets of the GDPR-based SUT model, Different combinatorial strategies can be adopted such as all combinations, pairwise combinations, or t-wise combinations. In particular, we rely on the definition presented in this slide for the specification of the GDPR-based test case. For instance, in the all combinations test strategy according to this definition, for each parameter i and its set of value v, the power set of v is derived, containing all possible subsets of v. Then, the obtained power sets are combined so as to derive the test cases. According to the domain-specific language, each of the obtained tuples in step 2 is translated into specific executable test case. In the context of access control, a test case is represented through an access control request that can be evaluated by the access control mechanism. In order to illustrate how Groot works practically, we consider a realistic use case scenario, in which Alice, a data subject, wants to use a smart fitness application to monitor her daily activities through a customized application provided by a generic MyFitness company. In this case, two purposes, My Cholesterol and Untargeted Marketing, each related to a specific data set of personal data, have been defined and performing specific actions. At the time of subscribing to the My Fitness application, Alice provided her personal data, such as email, age, gender, and blood cholesterol, and gave her consent to process her blood cholesterol for my cholesterol purpose. In this application example, for the aim of simplicity and clarity, the GDPR-based implementation refers to the art. Six of the GDPR, and it is represented by the Alice policy shown in this slide which is composed of two rules. 
For instance, Rule 1 allows my fitness, that is the data controller, to process personal data, such as age and gender, because of the consent given by Alice, for my cholesterol purpose. The GDPR-based model is then parsed to derive the set of parameters and their associated values. For instance in the second column, the values associated with parameter P is V par equals, my cholesterol untargeted marketing. In line with definition 1, the result of this step is represented in tabular form in table 1. The first column, reports the related Alice's policy elements, the second column, labeled par, reports the derived parameters, and the last column, labeled v par, lists the related values. The combination of the parameters' values is computed in order to derive the set of test cases. Considering for instance the all combination, the power set of the power set associated with parameter purpose is shown in gray box. For all combination the cardinality of the derived test suite is 16384, because the number of test cases follows exponential growth with the numbers of values parameters. The number of generated test cases can be reduced by considering different approaches. For instance, by applying the pairwise technique the test suite has been reduced to 259. Finally, each of the obtained test cases is translated into an executable one. For instance, request 1 states that my fitness, the WHO, wants to process blood cholesterol, which resources, for my cholesterol purpose. In this talk we presented Groot, a combinatorial testing strategy specifically conceived for assessing the compliance with the GDPR of systems managing personal data. We have firstly presented the conceived methodology, which consists of three main steps, then we have exemplified its application by considering a realistic use case scenario coming from fitness environment. In particular, we illustrated how to apply Groot for testing GDPR-based access control policies. It is part of our work in progress the assessment of the Groot approach by considering real case studies as well as the use of mutation approaches for evaluating its test effectiveness. We are also working on the Groot implementation in order to automatize the overall proposed process. As a future work, we will customize Groot approach by considering other technologies such as consent management systems. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.